we have built up a 3 lakh square feet of research block which is a seven story building which will house uh, animal lab which will also have a bio repository where all tissues will be stored in a nitrogen bank it will have a big uh, electron microscopic which would uh, bring in very advanced uh, mo uh, molecular uh, based and a microscopic based uh, investigation we have uh, uh, on a first floor a good manufacturing practices lab so a lot of cell lines would come in from the patients who are ill will manufacturing uh, manufacture it and under a regulatory condition uh, which would adhere to all the gmp facility which is required it will be all again an accredited lab uh, and then these cellular therapies which you are going to prepare will again go back to the patient which is not done in any of the hospitals up till now because it is all a packed product here we are going to do it indigenously and with also adhering to all the norms which is required for gmp One of the floors is uh, dedicated to genomics and you would have realized uh, during COVID that uh, genomic analysis makes a huge dis difference to understand the transmission based illnesses. It is not just limited to infectious diseases, we will do it for oncology. Oncology if you understand this, uh, there is with genomics there is a lot of personalized medicine. Uh, CA breast different people would require different therapy so based on genomic analysis based on microbiome analysis uh, the therapies changed by individuals so that personalized medication is and again a very very unique thing uh, which would uh, be coming in so it will have an impact in infectious diseases and in non-communicable diseases and heart uh, and diabetic illnesses and uh, largely to oncology we'll also have a center for proteomics and then we are investing uh, quite a bit in bioinformatics and artificial intelligence. We have a large series of uh, data which is available because we have been running 1350 bedded hospital for 25 years. We'll utilize that facility for uh, doing an artificial intelligence in imaging in lab medicine and many of the non-communicable diseases. Mm -hmm.